I think initially the reason why I'd placed, why I'd considered the War Machines as one of my five or three favourite serials of the Fifth Doctor's era is due to the, one of course is the seriousness and the danger, the stakes involved with the plot. I love how we have the contemporary Earth setting. Somehow, sometimes I feel as though, maybe not classic Doctor Who in general, but maybe even the black and white era worked better within the Earthbound, the UK context. Because I like the idea of, you know, it was shot on video. It's it's almost shot as though it's some television documentary or some slice of life drama. And then these strange, uncanny things from out of a child's nightmare pop up. And then the and then you know, reality descends into this sort of bizarre dream. That's what I really like about the black and white era of the first Doctor when these strange things invade otherwise, you know, ordinary depictions of real life. It has a lot to do with, I think, why the Dalek Invasion of Earth is considered possibly the best of the first Doctor serials. I'm inclined to actually possibly agree with that too. And the War Machines is not far behind it for quite similar reasons. Although the War Machines is set around the time, you know, contemporary to the the making of the show Dalek Invasion of Earth, is, while set in London, was set centuries in the future. The War Machine features a Doctor up against a formidable opponent. There's an interesting AI villain. By interesting, I mean you know, engaging and fascinating, not necessarily an intelligent study of of AI. Although it, it's it's a fun and a kind of goofy, pulpy menace sense. Wotan, a fun classic Doctor Who villain, and actually. He, he's so he's so classic he's so OG that he refers to the Doctor by the end of this episode during the cliffhanger as Doctor Who is not done very often it was not done very often at all after the 60s or even after this episode I believe during this episode sped up you'll witness some of the more entertaining uh, efforts of the effects that the BBC managed to put together during the 1960s run of classic Doctor Who. How about the production? Hopefully this episode doesn't go for too long and we get blocked for copyright. Working titles for this story included The Computers. The idea for this story came about when Kip Hedler was being interviewed for a position as science advisor to the series. The producers asked all of the interviewees what would happen if the recently built post office tower somehow took over. Pedler suggested that it would be the work of a rogue computer that communicated with the outside world by means of the telephone system. The producers liked this suggestion and not only offered Pedler the job, but developed the idea into a script, one of the few to feature a story idea by credit. Pat Dunlop was then hired to write a full set of teleplays from Pedler's idea, but quit after becoming busy with other work and the teleplays were subsequently done by Ian Stewart Black, who had also written the previous serial, The Savages. Only one War Machine prop was actually constructed. The production team changed the numbers to represent the different machines. It'll be interesting to see them conjure this illusion over the course of the next three episodes. The titling style of each episode in this serial differs from the standard titles of other serials. Instead of a title overlay after the Doctor Who logo has faded, the screen shifts to a solid background containing four inversely colored rectangles aligned down the left-hand side, reminiscent to an old-style com computer punched card. The title, one syllable at a time, scrolls upward the war machines with a final flash displaying the complete title on two lines. Another flash reveals the writer, the next flash reveals the word episode, and the final flash shows the actual episode number. I didn't need to read all that, did I? All of the lettering displayed in this titling sequence is shown in a typeface based on the numeric E13, E13B format that was then in common use for magnetic ink character recognition. Each of the four episodes' title sequences have a slight, vari have a slight variations to them. The decision to set more episodes on present day Earth was taken because the producers felt that the audience was becoming bored with the purely historical episodes that had been a major element of the show to date. As a result, this story marks the beginning of the turn away from historical stories. The next two historical stories, The Smugglers, which immediately follows The War Machines, and Season 4's The Highlanders, were to be the last purely historical stories until Season 19's Black Orchid. This story is also one of the very rare instances yeah, where the Doctor is referred to as Doctor Who by a character in the story, aside from when intended to be comical. Anyway, enjoy this brief video so it doesn't get blocked.